Hi, everybody. I just got a small book haul. I got something, a book that I got from, um, sorry, it's so, I don't know why this is so glary. I'm trying to get the camera to like, or it doesn't look so smeared. Does that look a little bit better? Maybe? There, that looks a little bit better. But anyways, I got one book that I got from Walmart a couple of days ago, and then I got two books that just came in the mail from Amazon. So the book I got from Walmart is Order of the Majesty, or Magi Ma Majestic, Majestic, how do you say that word, by Matt Malkalish, I don't know how you say his last name, no, I know I'm totally butchering it, but you guys, as I was telling you guys, I want to start building up like my middle grade hey. books, because my thing is I want to get like I want to have like little kids books, some little kids books for like when, you know, I have like little, little kids come over to the house and then I want to have like middle grade for like if I have middle kid, middle grade kids, you know, come into the house and I want to get like young adult and adult for, you know, so I want to have a variety of every kind of, you know, age group. This one is about this, um... 13-year-old boy who's um, really smart and he gets gifted I and mean, he gets where he goes to school all year round, which he thinks sucks. <laughs> he, he liked that he's smart, you know, that he's super, super smart, but he hates that he, you know, that he has to go to school all year round. Then he, something happens, what does it say? It says, after he takes one last test, the room around him disappears, replaced by the interior, interior of an old theater, and then he meets this magician, magician, is that how you say it, a, name, um, Red, 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 Redondo, or something like that, and he finds out that magic is really real, and then he finds out that, that, um, there's another group that are bad magicians, and they just want um, the, the magic, you know, for their own and greedy reasons, you know, purposes and things like that. And basically, he has to try to help save the magic and keep it out of the, you know, out of the, the hands of the bad ones, basically. So it says something about, about Howard Harry Houdini. Harry Houdini? Yeah, it says, Joey must inherit the lost legend, le legacy of Harry Houdini. Yeah, so that's basically what it's about. It's really cute. <laughs> wow. I love the cover. I, I know I have my book room, and usually I'm in there, but I just, it's not in the mood to go into my book room today, so it's going to be a little loud. But here's what that looks like. Nothing special. But, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to read it. I love when they have, like, different, um, like, it'll say chapter one, and then it'll have, like, a, you know, like, what, a title, like, gifted, like, chapter one on here is gifted and talented. I like how they do that, when they have the chapter and the title for each chapter, so I really like that. So it definitely looks good. I want to get, read his other books. I know I ha I think I have... Yeah. I might have some of these on my Kindle, but I want to get the actual e I mean, the actual physical copies. But that's the first one. And then we got two in here. Both of these I've been wanting to get for a while, and I keep, like, passing them up for other books. So I was like, I'm going to get them this month while I had some money. I'll show you what the first one is. We'll grab one at a time. One's hardback and one's paperback, so we'll go with the hardback. The hardback one I got was Kristen Simmons Pacifica. It says, A harrowing world Pacifica will have you breathlessly fearing our own future. And yeah, that's what that looks like. And I've been seeing this so much and I keep wanting to buy it and then I said, Nope, I want to get this one instead. So I was like, So this is going to be my first book by her. I do have, um, Glass Arrow, I think, on ebook, but I never read it. So it's white here. I guess, yeah, just 
all white. I like it though. That's blue here. I'll tell you what it's about in a minute. But this one looks really good. Okay, I'll tell you what it says. First, it says right here, it says a bleak, futuristic world that's utterly believable and terrifying, yet from out of it springs the greatest of hope, carried on the back of the fairest main, of the fairest main character. I was swept away. And then it said, this is what it says, it's about blue skies, green grass, clear ocean water, an island paradise like the ones that exist before the melt. A lucky 500 lottery winners will be the first to go, the first to leave the pollute, their polluted, disbanded, how do you say that, home behind and start a new life. It sounds perfect, like a dream. The only problem, Mar Marin Carrie spent her childhood on those seas and knows there's no island paradise out there. She's cor, cor Arero, how, how do you say that word? Royalty, a pirate like her father and her and his father before him, and she knows a con when she sees one. So where are the first five hundred really going? So it sounds really good. It says the critically acclaimed author of Article Five, The Glass Arrow and Melt Town brings her trademark action, romance, and frightening per something. It's P-R-E, a oh, pre-science, to this tale of high seas adventure. It says, for too long, our people have suffered, plagued by overcrowding diseases and lack of work. We have only just su survived for too long. Now we must take the next step in Thrive Pacifica, a new beginning. Well, it definitely looks good. It says, a diastopin, unlike, a diastopin, how do you say it? Dystopian. <laughs> unlike any other I have read. So, looks really good. I do want to get, like, some of her other books. Like, I've heard really, I've heard some good things about Metal Town, and I've heard good things about Article 5, and I can't remember about Glass Arrow. I think I heard good things about that as well. That's the second one, which I'm probably going to, I might read this during um, Romance-a-thon, but there's, a, there's some romance in it, and, and, um, it's traveling, it looks like, so it should work. Plus those skies. Oh my gosh, look at that sky. <laughs> I don't know if that would actually be any color of the rainbow, but, or not rainbow, but um, like a sunset. And the last book I got was, this one I've really been wanting because I heard so many people talk about this book. It's called Founder Side by Robert Jackson Bennett. This one looks so good. Like, I've been hearing so many people talk about this book. But I was trying to wait until it went into paperback for it to be cheaper. Like, oh my gosh, it looks so good. Like, I am so, like, wanted to read this. Like, But it says, Seneca, I think that's how you say it. Gardo. Garrido or something like that, is a thief and a damn good one. And her latest heist on Tavin, Tavin's docks is nothing her unique abilities can't handle. But unbeknownst to her, Seneca's, Seneca's been sent to steal an artifact of unimaginable power, an object that could revolutionate, re re revolutionize the magical technical known as Scraving, something like that. Scrivaging. It's S C R I V I N G. But anyway, if the ruthless merchant house who controls this magic, the art of using coded commands to imbue everyday objects with sent sentient 
Sentisa, something like that, can unlock, can unlock the artifact secret. They will rewrite the world itself to suit their aims. Now someone in the house wants Seneca, or Seneca, how are we I say Seneca, I don't know if that's right, dead and the artifacts for themselves. And, it's, and in a city like Tavine, Tavina, Tavine, nobody has the power to stop them. To have a chance at surviving and at stopping the deadly transformation that's underway, Seneca will have to marshal unlike, unlikely allies and undergo her own transformation, one that will turn her into something she could never imagine. And then up here it says, prepare for ancient mystery in something magic and heart-pounding heist. And that's Blurt by Brandon Sanderson. And then we got, from Tem Tamara Pierce, we got Complex Characters, Magic that is Tech and Vice Verse, a world bound by warring trade dynasties. Then it will leave you in awe once you remember to breathe. And then Blurt by Tor.com, an excellent first novel in what promises to be a home run series. Feature an, an intriguing, deadly, wonderful new city where reality can be stuffed, I mean, shuffled like a deck of cards. What's the blurb for it? I don't know if you can, like, you can see if you can hold it if you didn't understand half of what I was saying. You might be able to pause the video and read it. But I like this cover, and this one would definitely read, I mean, be good for, like, a sunrise because of the picture right here. So even this I could read, but it might be too long. So it's like, yeah, it's 503. Yeah, it's 503 pages though. So yeah, but those are the three books I got. I'm gonna have to look at his his other novels. And the next one's supposed to come out sometime in, it's called Shorefall, the next one in the series. And it's supposed to come out sometime in 2020. But he has this other um, series, it's called the Divine Cities Trilogy. City Stairs, I think that's what it says. Yeah. Um, City Blades and Cities, City of Miracles. So City of Stars, City of Blades, Cities of Miracles. I'm definitely going to have to see what those are about and see if they might be something I might like since it's already completed. But this one definitely looks good. Like I said, I heard a lot of like really good things about Founder Side. So, yeah. So I wanted to show that. And then I haven't really been reading much. I've only read those three that I already talked about. I'm like in the middle of like six or seven books, but I just can't like get into them so I don't know like if I'm going to have any more books read before the end of the month. Hopefully I can get a couple done because I'm going to participate and I'm going to try to participate in Summerthon but I'm going to try to take it easy until then and just read if I'm in the mood to read. Plus my mom's going to be here sometime today. She's going to go home tomorrow for church and then Monday we got to do some running and we're going to pick up my niece. And then we're going to go to my mom's house, pick her up, and then they're going to come and stay for probably like five days to a week. I'm not exactly sure when they're leaving. And then, yes, yeah, so I won't have much time to read during that week anyways. Because I want to try to entertain my niece while she's here. And I don't get to see her very much or my mom, so it's going to be nice to visit. So I don't know how much actually reading I'm going to get done. But I do want to next week. I'll let you guys know by, uh, not, not, not not this week, but the week after I should say. The last week of the month. But I should know for sure before then. If it's doable. But I might be doing another 48 hour readathon. 24 and 48 hour readathon like I did last month. Maybe that will help me you know, read, um, read a little, like, finish some books, like it did last time, because I finished, like, I think two books last time, two and a half books, so maybe that will help again, because I've just been, like, in a reading slump, like, oh, yeah, I have, like, um, uh, 
I started reading, like, um, what was it? Like, uh, Hunger, um, the last one in Hunger Games. Why do I always forget what it is? Maka J. I started reading Maka J, but I got to, like, 180, 85, and I put it down. And I haven't been in the mood to pick it back up. Even my favorite book, which is Lifelike, from last year, that I want to reread, for I can read the other one when it comes out. Even that, I can't, like... <sighs> getting my brain on right now so I think it's just because you know we just moved and then all the stuff that's going on you know like my mom's coming and she's gonna be visiting and like next month at the end of next month is family union and moving into this house you know like my brain ain't on really reading right now but I'm gonna try I might try reading one of these three books that I just bought and see if maybe one of those three will help. Maybe I'll try a chapter. So maybe in a little bit I will be doing another trial chap. Try a chapter. And I will tell you which one I'll be reading. So I'm probably going to do that in a little bit. If I have time. If I can do it before my mom gets here and stuff. We shall see. Otherwise, uh, maybe I will do it tomorrow. I might. We might do some running around tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. Because like I said, my mom's going to leave, just come in for the night, and then she's going to, or the evening, and then she's going to leave sometime tomorrow morning, and then go back for she, like I said, for she can go to church with my sister, because this is probably the last time they're going to be able to go to their church for a few, like for, until probably after family reunion, because my sister, she works like every other week, because she works seven days and then she's off seven days and she worked seven days and she's off seven days so that's going on and then um the first of july my mom's gonna come in nevaeh and probably omari which is nevaeh's brother so yeah and then my sister i think works like most of the couple i mean yeah and then I think she works for like two weeks because she's taking like the week off because her and her husband's going to like a wedding somewhere in July. So my mom's coming here because of that. And because she just wants to spend some time with me. And yeah. So things are going to be crazy in the next couple of months. But I'm still going to participate like in the book junkie trials. Um, the Billio Bil games. However you say that one. Billio, billion, billion, how do you say that word? I cannot pronounce that word ever. And then there's another one I'm going to participate in, in next month. So I'm still going to be participating in readathons. I don't know if I'll be, will book Junkie Trials since it's a whole month. I should be able to read the five books and you guys already saw my TBR for that. So I should be able to read those five books next month. The other ones, I'm just going to pick and choose a couple of books. I'm not going to do every single challenge. I'll probably pick out a book for every challenge, but I'm probably not going to read every, every book, if you know what I mean. Yeah. But just for I can participate by at least reading a couple of books. So, yeah. So I just want to let you know what was going on. Um, let's see. Monday, I should be getting my my um, my unplugged book box. The, um, what was it called? They did their... Um, that mystery box where they had four different different boxes you could or price boxes you could get. And I just got the fifty dollar one, whatever it was. But anyways, that should be here Monday. Owl crate's supposed to be shipping theirs out Monday. So that'll probably come like Wednesday, Thursday. So I do and um I got um Enchanted Fandoms, a mug coming from them. Well, not a mug. It's actually a, supposed to be a water bottle or something like a, a aluminum aluminum water bottle. I think it is. That's supposed to be coming. Um, what else? Um, the end of the month, I'm supposed to be getting from Flick Flick the Wick. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. Their sorceress box that they have that I ordered. Well, they don't have any more because it's all you know sold out. But I got that coming. So I still have like four boxes coming. I did order um, two books from um, uh, 
book depository. I'll tell you what they are anyways, because it don't matter. I got, um, I got um, their, the UK's version of Lifelike, because I love their version of Lifelike. And then I got Deviance, which is book two. They're the UK version, so yeah. Uh, of course, when I get them, you'll see the beautiful covers. But they, um, Lifelike, not Lifelike, Deviance, it um, ships on, it comes out Monday in the UK, this Monday. And it usually takes me like 7 to 10 days to get it, somewhere along that line. So yeah. And then next month I won't have as many boxes. I know I keep saying that, but... <laughs> Oh, and also, lit, uh, I did wind up getting um, lit, lit, lit Crate Joy, but I only got the items like I usually do. Because I like getting their item-only box. Because it's only like $23, $24. But anyways, I got that coming as well this month. Next month, I think the only boxes I'm getting, or will be getting is Owl Crate. And like I was saying in my other video, Fairy Loot is going to start shipping to the U.S. and to the... Um, I mean, it's going to have a, not ship, they have always shipped to the U.S., but you know what I mean. They're going to have their, um, uh, uh, what are you going to call it, uh, you know, like where they put their store. It's like a storage thing where, you know, where the people come, where they have people, like, do the boxes. I don't know why I forgot what it's called. But anyways, and it's going to be on the East Coast, so now we can, in July, from July, it's going to be, like, cheaper. So, yeah. It was, like, 40... Like I was saying yesterday, like, 41 $42 for the U.S. with, um... With the, ins um, you know, shipping. And then they said in August, they'll have it where, um... They're going to have their, um... Website U.S. and Canada-friendly, whatever you want to say. So, starting in August, it will tell you what the U.S. price actually is altogether, you know. And it won't be in um, Sterling or whatever it is for over there. So, yeah. But, yeah. So, I think that and maybe Book of the Month are probably the only three things I'll get next month. I was going to get Beacon, but with Fairy Loot doing the boxes now in the U.S., and I've been wanting a fairy loot for so long. I said, I got to do it. I got to do it. So, <laughs> I'm definitely getting that. And the good thing about that, if you guys don't have money until the 1st and you want to order, but it's only for um, the, the you know, for the subscription, not for the one-time box. But if you get this, do a subscription fair, through fairy loot, they don't take your, like, if you, like, sign up today for subscription, they won't take it out until July 1st. So that's a good thing. So that's what I did. Yesterday I signed up for the subscription. But if you do the one-time box, they do take your money right away. Just want to let you know. But I want to let you know, like, oh, like, I just want to let you know that you have that choice to do the subscription. Robin, can you not turn that on until I'm done, please? Oh, no. Just pause it. But anyways... They have it that where you can subscribe now and they won't take it out until the first of the month. So you have that. If you're like, oh my gosh, I want to get it, but I don't have the money. Then just do the subscription for July. And yeah, subscribe, I mean. Don't do the one-time box. Because if, like I said, if you do the one-time box, they will take it out right now. So yeah. And you can always find a code, um, you know, on their somewhere that is a um fairy loop you know one of the reps like i found one that spin if you want to use it spin five so yeah just spin and five just like that s-p-i-n five and i use that and it looks like it didn't come out at first because there's one line and it said like zero but then if you go down a little bit more it'll say like negative dollar 30 i think it was so you say that much so, yeah, just wanted to give you guys that option and give you the code. Of course, I don't get nothing for them. It's whoever the person is. Well, you know, it just helps. Who the, I don't even remember what, what YouTube, I mean, not YouTube, but what um, Instagram user I use. But I just know it was Spin5. 
So, yeah. And that just helps her, you know, get it like maybe a free box or something like that. Uh, but, yeah. But I'm going to let you guys go. I just wanted to tell you what was going on, do the book haul, tell you what's going on in my life. Yeah. And what's, what boxes are coming. So, yeah, I hope you guys all have a good day. I might go into my reading room later and do a try a chapter for these three. Or I'm going to try to, or I might try to um, get my summer thon, um, you know, what I want to read for summer thon picked out and then do a video for that. So I might be back later today or if not, then tomorrow. But I love you guys. If you guys like this channel, remember, I mean, if you like this video, I mean, remember to hit the bell icon. I mean, oh gosh, I'm totally ruining this. <laughs> remember, if you guys like this video, thumbs up. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, I'm just like really, my brain's on 50 million things. If you like this video, thumbs up. Even if you don't, then thumbs down. You know, it still lets me know that you're watching. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. Remember to hit that beautiful bell icon so you'll know whenever a video like this is up for you to watch and enjoy. And let me know how you're, what you are doing this weekend and yeah, what you're, oh, and if you're interested now that Fairy Loot is doing this, if you think that you might buy it, because it's for U.S. and Canada. I know, like I said, $8 for, I mean, it's eight uh, British or sterling, whatever pounds or whatever you want to call it. And I believe it's like 11 for Canada. So, yeah. And like I said, the box was like 26 sterling dollars or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah. But I'm going to let you guys go. I love you guys. And I will talk to you guys all later. Bye for now.